Lynn is getting his touch up with no numbing cream. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <laughs> raw. We're raw. See how long that lasts. <laughs> okay. So back in my my second session. Here we go. You <laughs> me begging for some uh cream girl. So the guy that she was seeing said something about it? Um like he got tired of being a side dude or he didn't think he was a side dude. Oh, I gotta sneeze. I don't know why. Cause I'm on that left side. Oh. <laughs> when you get microbladed yeah. on this eye, <laughs> on this old simple phone here, it went away. Okay. It will make you feel like you have to sneeze. So he just so he. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Um. <laughs> uh, um. No, he just basically just came out. You know, I guess to tell his side of the story, like you know, she lying or whatever. What was she lying and saying? That she wasn't seeing him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a part of the microblade, y'all. <laughs> you will sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like she was lying or whatever. I'm just like, you know, what you doing dark will come to light. I mean, he wasn't the best boyfriend, though. <sighs> I think he had cheated on her before, too, right? Mm-hmm. Karma. Yep, it's a B. When I get off of this eye, he will not be sneezing like this. You know what goes up must come down. <laughs> Again, this is with no numbing cream, straight blade to the skin. Take it like a G. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't like to use numbing cream on a touch up because this is the last time I'll probably see him for a long time. And so I want my clients to have the best retention and the less product you can put inside of your stroke. That's not pigment, of course, the better. That includes numbing gels, water, all of that. Right now, I'm just kind of going in between the strokes that were healed, just so that um, we'll have like a <clears throat> a darker appearance. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really hurt that much, really. Mm -mm. Just besides the sneezing. And yeah. I mean, once you've been through it once, it's like it's nothing. Right. Lynn healed really well. I mean, there's barely any fading. And you got, I mean, I wish you could see closer, but these strokes are so pretty. It just looks like hair. So I'm pretty sure his retention will last over a year, maybe even over two, to be honest. Maybe because I don't really sweat. My skin don't really sweat. That's probably why I heal faster, probably. Right, because you're able to keep them dry. Mm hmm You see how pretty that is? Can y'all see those lines? Can they see that? Hold on. Oh. oh yeah. It's perfection.
Any questions now? Any so questions, y'all? Stretch it tight. And the tighter you can stretch it, the cleaner your stroke is gonna be. You're not gonna have those jagged lines. Cause you want it to look like hair. And eyebrow hair isn't jagged. I stretch it my knuckle or my pinky, whatever I can get to. Oh, somebody did ask me one question, like, how long is the sessions and stuff? Um, I schedule an hour and a half for my sessions sometimes. I think I'm going to change it to two just because people be having a lot of questions and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the process isn't that long. Majority of the session is sketching the, bra the brow, making sure it's, you know, the shaping that the person wants. And then, of course, like 30 minutes of numbing. Mm -hmm. But the actual procedure, that's maybe 45 minutes. I'm not going over the strokes that were already I there. <laughs> okay, there we go. I will Just in case somebody's wondering. <laughs> okay. I'm going in between those strokes, just in a couple of places where I want it to be really dense. And, um, that's pretty much it. Okay. Whew. So I probably won't have to go over his brows, but maybe one pass, maybe two at the most. Um, a touch-up session isn't a whole new session all over again. It's just what it sounds like, touching up strokes here and there, or completing a look. If you had a look in okay. mind. Okay. You had a look in mind the first time and you wanted it to be a certain way, but you couldn't achieve that without jeopardizing your work. That's when you have the two sessions. It's not meant for you to start completely over. Unless your client didn't follow aftercare. I didn't sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That I even have to go back over this eye. But I'm going to put some numbing solution down just in case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like to use green shampoo. Smells so delicious and it's cleaning the brows as I do them. Ooh. That's gonna keep the chances of him scabbing down to mm. almost zero. It's already looking so beautiful. This will probably hit a real fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably add just a little bit more to the top here, and then we'll be done. Again, this side was not long enough, so I extended the strokes and added a few new strokes just to even it up with the right brow.
for those of you that are new to microblading, you'll notice that when you use numbing cream to begin your session, um, sometimes it changes the texture of the skin. So like you'll choose a blade based on how you felt the skin and then after it gets numb, it's tighter or tougher. So you have to switch up the blade. So I prefer to not use numbing, but everyone can't take it like that. With the pain? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna be like, yo, I need the numbing solution right now. Does it numbing help? Cause I can't tell. No, I don't really. I mean, it feels the same to me. Some people it does because they'll be like, oh, my brows, I can feel it tight on my face right now. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's still not as tough as the actual anesthetic gel that I put on once your skin is broken. Like even right now, you got the gel on and it feels different than when we started. Okay, so that eye is pretty much done. I'm gonna put some pigment in there, let it sit. Like I said, it landed really well, so we don't have a whole lot of work to do. Pretty that is. Mm -hmm. You can see the It looks more fuller. Mm -hmm. So now I do my brows now. I have to fit in so much, probably. Right, exactly. And since I since I got this, I don't even I real wear less of makeup now. <laughs> this one looks pretty good. I might put. Maybe one stroke in here, but that one's pretty good. I love when a client heals like this. And I've been watching Lynn's videos probably every day, if not every other day, since our session. Oops. And um, just to watch the healing, because I haven't had a chance to actually be able to see people on a daily basis once they leave me. So... I'm confident now, even more confident than before in my aftercare instructions because they are personalized. Each stylist may tell you to do something different. And now after watching him every day for weeks, I'm confident in the directions that I give are good because mm -hmm. my clients heal well. They barely scab, if at all. Um, so he helped me by sh showing himself daily. <laughs> <laughs> I know. As I was working. <laughs> I use one razor per client just to clean up any hairs outside of the brow. Which usually isn't too many. I'm going to take this other one off so I can see how even they are. I might want to go up a little bit more. Uh, let me get it from right here. No, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Thank you, Khadija. You said your brows look great. Hey, Khadija girl. Thank <laughs> you. And I told you, y'all got to come see Ricky, honey, because I love him, honey. I get so many compliments from him every day. It is a lifetime experience. I love anybody that can do some wonderful miracles. Cause we all need a little help here now. Yep, nothing wrong with a little enhancement. 
So this is called a pigment push where I'm pushing the ink down. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll be done. I'll wipe it off. Any ink that pigment that may have come up from like when he was bleeding a little bit. Um, Y'all can see like the little spots of blood. If that pushed any of my pigment up, it's this push is, that I'm doing now is gonna push it back down. And it burns a little bit, so I have a little fan that I use for lashes. Oh, great. That I use. <laughs> oh my God, Ricky, I was looking for those. Amazon. That's that air, con air conditioning girl. Mm, it's a little fan. I was like, oh, I gotta. I was just looking at it last night. <laughs> I said, girl, they got air conditioning. Let me go get me one. <laughs> Look, I got a little refrigerator over there too. Put my glue where that little black thing. Are you serious? Yeah. Where are you ordering? Where are you the from? Amazon. I have got to get me one. I just got me an Amazon account. Amazon so I can Prime. Get, yeah, so I yeah. can get me a fire stick, whatever. Yeah. But I got the tip. I could. I said, girl, that thing works. I got that thing works. They got me at Walmart. I think. Probably, but I don't reason not like Amazon because stuff be like reasonably priced. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got it's called that. microblading, Khadija, and it's where we take a small blade. I don't know if you can see that. Sure, I guess I get me one of them. And take a small blade that has pigment on, and you make hair like strokes. You gotta have a little bit of artistry about yourself because you gotta, you know, you don't have to be able to draw, but you need to have a vision and you need to be able to follow your vision to make the hair, the strokes look like the hair that you're trying to imitate versus just straight, harsh lines. Somebody said, are you using, I don't know the question. Are you using what? Temporary pigment ink? Oh, temporary or permanent ink. Um, it is a, I use LI pigments and it is, you can say that it's temporary because it will fade at the time. Mm -hmm. um, not so much because of the ink, but more so just because of the layer of skin that we're depositing the ink into. We're only going to the top layer, which is the epidermis. So in time, the more you exfoliate, the more the skin um, is recycled, then of course the ink is going to come out as well. So it's an inorganic, it's an LI pigment. I only use LI pigments. They were, to me, they have the best retention. She's not finished. No, she's not finished yet. She still gotta finish. Oh, she said, okay, thanks. Y'all. You're welcome, honey. Maybe it hurt. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, you did. He did main, the most of the service without any numbing. Even when I put anesthetic gel on, I only left it on for like maybe two minutes. Just it doesn't, in case. It yeah. doesn't really hurt. Maybe just a pinch, like a tattoo, but it doesn't really hurt, you know. People, um,. People compare it to threading. They say it's on the, as far as pain level, I've never been threaded, but they say that it hurts. It's about the same pain that you experience with threading. Yeah. If you ask me, it's, just, it's a mind thing, you know. Thank you, boo. We got a Miss Rahi on the line. <laughs> How you doing, girl? <laughs> I met this guy today when I was getting my new brakes and rotors. He was like, he wanted to get his brows done. What? He got a brows? Mm-mm. And he a straight dude. And he was like, would you do a straight man? I was like, it don't matter if you're straight. Yeah, yeah you, you can get your brows I don't know your sex. <laughs> but your brows. Your money talking to right. me. <laughs> He's like, you're not going to make them look too perfect. I was like, I'll make, I'll make them look, them look like how you want them to look. How they will look on you. you That's know? the one thing about microblading. Everything is customized to what you want. Mm -hmm. With the, the shaping, if you want a low arch, a high arch, thin brow, whatever. I know, like mostly women, I know I look on makeup, whatever's on YouTube, they want their high arch. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, girl, you, you like your weight, honey. Go to sleep a little bit. You right. Know? <laughs> you need like a more natural look. And it just depends on your profession, too, because if you're in a profession where you have to always be made up, you might want to go with a high arch. And then in a couple years, when that changes and you're not in the spotlight as much, you know that they're going to fade. Mm -hmm. So you can start over and get a lower or whatever. So that's why I love it. It's just you can customize it and it's not permanent. And I'm just fanning him just because I want to speed it up. No, it didn't bleed. I didn't bleed.
This one might be a tad darker than this one the first couple days because I added more strokes over here to get that that height. Uh huh. Whereas this one I didn't have to, so don't. I oh, see. Right. You brought this one down some more. I brought it down okay. and up a little bit to make it even with this that one. one. Okay. So you might see a little bit more darker darkness over here than over here because we didn't have to do as much over From here. There. Okay, cool. But just give it a couple days and it'll even out. What's that word, Ricky? Is it? Right. How long does it? Is it expensive? Um, to me, it's not. It just depends on what you consider expensive. It's four hundred and fifty dollars, but that covers two sessions, so that's um, good. and it's something that's gonna last for two years. So I would say that that's inexpensive for the enhancement services that you're getting, and the confidence that you're getting, especially if it's to correct something that you can't help, such as alopecia or scarring or anything like that. So it's not expensive. Right. It's what's going to help you, really. How do you not bleed? Because I'm not going that deep into the skin. I'm doing it by hand. This is not a tattoo gun. Right. Um, it's just a human hand. So I can only go, but I can only penetrate the skin with so much. So some people do bleed a little bit if they have been drinking a lot of alcohol or if they're taking blood thinners um, or if they just are susceptible to that type of um, reaction. But everybody does it. And even mm. when you do bleed, it's very small amounts. Um, like little beads of blood, not like you're dripping blood or anything. So it stops immediately. I, I would say different skin. You know, people right. got different different skin texturizes or whatever. Some people's skin are tough. Some people's skin are not tough. But I didn't, I didn't really bleed at all. But, oh dear, no, they're not uneven. But thank you for watching. Thank you. We're, uh, I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. You're my hero. Oh, thank you. Hey, Lynn, my say, hey, Lynn, you're my hero. The difference in microblading and a permanent tattoo, um, a couple different. Oh, she said, okay, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome, honey. You may need to hurt. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, you did. He did main, the most of the service without any numbing. Even when I put anesthetic gel on, I only left it on for like maybe two minutes. It just doesn't. In case. It doesn't really hurt. Maybe just a pinch, like a tattoo, but it doesn't really hurt. You know. People, um, people compare it to threading. They say it's on the as far as pain level. I've never been threaded, but they say that it hurts. It's about the same pain that you experience with threading. Yeah. If you ask me, it's just it's a mind thing, you know. Thank you, boo. We got a Miss Rahi on the line. <laughs> How you doing, girl? <laughs> I met this guy today when I was getting my new brakes and rotors. He was like, he wanted to get his brows done. What? He got a brows? Mm -mm. This, and he a straight dude. And he was like, would you do a straight man? I was like, it don't matter if you're straight. Yeah, you can get your brows done. I don't know your sex. <laughs> but your brows. Your money talking to right. me. <laughs> He's like, well, you're not going to make them look too perfect. I was like, I'll make, I'll them, make them look, look like how you want them to look. How they will look on you. you That's know? the one thing about microblading. Everything is customized to what you want. Mm -hmm. With the shaping, if you want a low arch, a high arch, thin Brow, I know, like mostly women, I know I, I look on makeup, whatever it's on YouTube, they want their high arch. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, girl, you, you like your wake, honey, go to sleep a little bit. You right. Know? <laughs> or you need like a more natural look. And it just depends on your profession, too, because if you're in a profession where you have to always be made up, you might want to go with a high arch. And then in a couple years, when that changes and you're not in the spotlight as much, you know that they're going to fade. Mm -hmm. So you can start over and get a lower or whatever. So that's why I love it. It's just you can customize it and it's not permanent. And I'm just fanning him just because I want to speed it up. No, it didn't bleed. I didn't bleed. This one might be a tad darker than this one the first couple days because I added more strokes over here to get that that height uh -huh. whereas this one i didn't have to so don't oh, i see right. you, you brought this one down some more i brought it down okay. and up a little bit to make it even with this that one. one okay so you might see a little bit more darker darkness over here than over here because we didn't have to do as much over From here there. okay cool but just give it a couple days and it'll even out 
Let's say what record is it. Right. How long does it, is it expensive? Um, to me it's not. It just depends on what you consider expensive. It's $450, but that covers two sessions. So um, and it's something that's gonna last for two years. So I would say that that's inexpensive for the enhancement services that you're getting and the confidence that you're getting, especially if it's to correct something that you can't help such as alopecia or scarring or anything like that. So it's not expensive. Right. It's what's gonna help you really. How do you not bleed? Because I'm not going that deep into the skin. I'm doing it by hand. This is not a tattoo gun. Right. Um, it's just a human hand. So I can only go, but I can only penetrate the skin with so much. So some people do bleed a little bit if they have been drinking a lot of alcohol or if they're taking blood thinners um, or if they just are susceptible to that type of um, reaction. But everybody does it. And even mm -hmm. when you do bleed, it's very small amounts. Um, like little beads of blood, not like you're dripping blood or anything. So it stops immediately. I, I would say different skin. You know, people right. got different different skin texturizers or whatever. Some people's skin are tough. Some people's skin are not tough. But I didn't, I didn't really bleed at all. But, oh dear, no, they're not uneven. But thank you for watching. Thank you. We're, uh, I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. You're my hero. Oh, thank you. Hey, Lynn, I say, hey, Lynn, you're my hero. The difference in microblading and a permanent tattoo, um, a couple differences. I think you showed me that, didn't you? Somebody got a tattoo. Right. Eyebrow. With a regular tattoo, you're using an actual tattoo gun, a tattoo machine, I mean. Um, and so, of course, it's going to penetrate deeper. It's going to go to the dermis layer, whereas this I'm doing by hand. I'm using a hand tool, and it's a blade. A tattoo, you're using a needle, and it's going a lot deeper, so the results are going to last forever. It's a permanent service. This is a semi-permanent service. And so I'm able to be more artistic because I'm doing it by hand, so you have more control, so it looks more like hair. Whereas with a tattoo gun, um, the, the lines are going to be a little bit thicker um, just because of the way that the technique that you're using. Right. Um, yes, it is by appointment only. Um, you can make an appointment at beyondbrowsingbeauty.com. Oh, thank you. You got some sweet followers. You can also go on her page too, because I, I pinned her name where you guys can go check her out. Be, Be Asia Baby. Right here. Be Asia Baby. Baby. I offer training um, if you are in the North Carolina, South Carolina area. Um, you can sign up for a training class on microblading. It's a two-day class. It's nineteen ninety-five. I do travel as well. Um, if you're not in the North Carolina or South Carolina area and you would like for me to come to your area, I would just need at least three students and I would bring a class to your area. It comes with a kit as well as certification. Um, and pretty much the nineteen ninety five that you're paying, you'll be able to make that back in less than two weeks. My eyebrows are... Lavaris, this is called microblading. Alright, so now I'm going to wipe them off and sit them up. And we'll check to see if there's anything else we want to fix or change. So I say, can you come to, what is that, come to, what is that, I don't know. Come to where, come to. I think I went away. Yes, you have the most definitely. Um, Atlanta, Atlanta has a lot of trainers. I don't think I'll be coming to Atlanta for a trainer. Um. Not anytime soon, anyway. It's a, it's a lot of trainers down there, and they're pretty good. It is good. a lot, a lot of trainers. You can get, you can get good training down there too. Everyone's technique is a little bit different, so you just have to look at the work of the person that you want to learn from, 
and see if that's what you want to do. Everybody is different. It's not like a a Bible on a right or way, right or wrong way to they do have it. Their, their as own long craft. as it's safe. Yeah, as long as they're all clean, they're all safe, they're not damaging the skin, and they're giving you the outcome that you want. And asking you questions because most most people don't ask you questions about it, how it works and stuff. Right. Make sure they're knowledgeable and make sure they give you a good kit. You know, you shouldn't have to go buy a whole bunch of stuff if you're spending two thousand dollars with somebody. Ooh, that's a good one, girl. Pray, China. So you should be able to, you know, make that money back without having to spend a lot. Hey, Vicky, Vicky. Okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we you ignore this going fast, honey. I don't think we're ignoring you on purpose. What was your question again? Over here? No, somebody said oh. we ignore them. Oh no, we're not ignoring you. Do you come? Mm -mm. What did they say? I'm ugly. Oh again. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come with the yeah, devil now. I got the freaks on this line, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't that deal, man. Okay, so I'm going to sit you up so I can look at you straight in the face. Okay. okay. And I'm going to move this. I can't. Be humble, honey. Woo! Okay, let's see. Do all right, so I'm gonna go in on this side just a little bit more. Sit all the way up. Okay. I'm gonna come up just a little bit higher here. And I'm gonna go a little more in right here. Okay. Yep, that's it. Alright, so couple right here, maybe on the top, just right here, and then we'll be done. Okay. <laughs> My niece said she would have missed you so bad. Hey, niece. <laughs> yes, come to Charlotte. Come to Charlotte, niece. <laughs> okay, so I always look my clients in the eye because I need to make sure there's nothing else I want to change um, before they leave. And over here, I do want to add just a couple strokes inside. And because we brought this brow up to meet this one, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more in here. And then we'll be done. But if you don't look your client in the face, it's really the blade, hard. The blade, what it looks like? Oh, this, that's what the blade looks like. Small. Small. Hey. The bars, how much is four fifty, which covers two sessions. How much I get a close up? So what I'm doing is extending these strokes at the top. One of his brows naturally comes higher than the other, so I'm bringing one of them up to match it. And you can hear the skin. And Lynn is doing this without any numbing. 
So just imagine if you are a person that doesn't like pain, I have um, anesthetic gel and numbing creams that I can use for the discomfort. But as you can tell, it's really not that uncomfortable because he's doing it without any numbing at all. Let's see what's up. A lot of people said those bird parts are just too close. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. It might be dead in there. Is it dead in there? Yeah. Okay. It's so funny how, like, some of your people start answering the questions. Um. Okay, Lavars, come get it done then, honey. Let me give you some brows. Um, some of your followers, they are so team Lynn that it's like people, somebody else will ask a question and if you can't answer it, the follower will. <laughs> it's like, he can't see y'all question right now. His eyes are closed. <laughs> it goes hard. I'm not really adding any new strokes at this point. Just kind of going over the ones that I've already added and making sure that they are um, symmetrical with the other brow. I like to leave, um, I like it to really look like hair. So I feel like the less perfect it is, the better. Everybody has their own difference of opinion when it comes to that. But Yeah, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I travel to Fayetteville, Raleigh, Columbia. And I'm working on adding some dates in Florida. Put my babies up there. Hey, Heather. Let me sit you up one more time before we do one more picnic push. Okay. Like okay. Open your eyes. Not with that. Hair spikes all up at the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. You want me to close those in or you like it like that? 
I like it like that. I really don't. Kind of gives it really, really of a realistic view. Yeah. And then when you do your makeup, you can close it in with your eye. Mm-hmm. Two more right here. Okay. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm sorry. She got to get it right the way she wanted. <laughs> uh, super, super perfectionist. I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna do two more, and then that's it. I'm pretty sure the next person had you just walking out. Girl, go ahead, we done. Right. On to the next. Sydney, as I explained earlier, this is a touch-up session, and so one needed more touch up, not more touching up than the other. So you don't have to cut someone's skin just because one is going to be darker. It's going to be darker because it has more strokes. Mm -hmm. But after it heals, they're going to be even. But thank you for your commentary. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, that was a good comment she made. I love you how got a lot she, of good ones. You got way more sweet people than you have knuckleheads, for sure. Right. That's unfortunate. Yeah, nighttime. Know. Nighttime, that's when the knuckleheads come in, girl. You know, I try to show them the, you know, things that I do and stuff, you know. And I'm doing positive things and stuff, you mm -hmm. know. Because, you know... It does help somebody else who want to do it, you know? Exactly. But you got to believe in yourself first. Yeah. I'm definitely going to put this video on YouTube because it's long. <laughs> it is long. I'm going to cut it and slice it. Yeah. But yeah, I think if you put your videos on YouTube, oh my God. That'll be the, the biggest for you. Somebody said, like, your camera, so I can. Oh, okay. I'm waiting on my glass case to come. I'm going to crack the mess out of this one. And I'm just fanning him because the strokes are open, and so when I put the pigment in, it could sting a little bit. So I like my clients to be as comfortable as possible. Thank you guys. Exactly. 
Shakira cannot be on your um. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, I cannot believe no. It's Thursday already. Like the week is almost tomorrow. That is crazy. Have you ever seen me? Oh my God, Ricky, did you see me over the week? You probably weren't alive. I was on live this weekend, cooking. I did, I did a cooking session here. No. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> what were you? Cooking? I did some baked chicken and um. It's and it's some blurry. rice. I don't know why it's blurry. I blocked. Oh. I mean, I wiped it. Probably because it's single here. Let me see. It should be better now. I'm not sure. I gotta get a new uh, screen uh, thing. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Lynn, not nice to y'all. Somebody said you be acting like you nice to them. <laughs> 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 to my lies, I mean, yeah, they know I have my days. They know I have my days. They know I do. They know I'm not like this 24-7. <laughs> so he nice you it's know? time to do the morning worship. Right. I already had my morning worship. Now it's talking shit time. <laughs> but you got the perfection when you go go somewhere perfection now. You got the perfection. You know? I can't be rude and get everywhere I go now. <laughs> you, gotta be, you gotta be professional. What did you cook? I, I cooked some um some baked chicken. It's I, just permanent. It's semi permanent. It'll last up to two years. Baked chicken and rice, and um, I was just goofing around in the kitchen, like dancing and stuff. <laughs> no, I seen that video you made that black and white. Uh, Trey song. Yeah. It's yeah. Funny. And somebody said, you almost gave them a seizure. I think they were epileptic or something. <laughs> I died. I died twice. Oh, my God. Somebody said post. Because I had, I had post uh, ID on my... Thank you, one diva now. always. So I was like, let me just post this video. Somebody said they wanted to play. Look at all this lipstick all over me. <laughs> I said, Lynn will give you praise and worship and then hand out a real read. <laughs> I, I do. That's, that's me every day. And that tells you I ain't living perfect, honey. I'm, I give you praise and worship in the morning. After that, it's time to talk. Yes, to please do. Is it Lavaris? I know my sister Tasha. Um, I think I added you and Tasha about months ago. Um, because you do hair in Charlotte, right? But I don't know what my prices are for men, um, who do who do want a natural masculine look, um, versus the clean perfect brow. My number is four zero four. Four nine six eight nine nine eight. Are we good, y'all? Are we good on this video? We're in Charlotte. Um, my salon is located in Rivergate, which is South Charlotte near Carowinds. I said, why is blurry? It's still blurry. I don't know. I have no clue, y'all. Probably because we're using the connection from the building, and they probably don't have the best. I'm from London. I don't know why people think that, um, well, I won't say that, but I will say that brows aren't twins. No, I, that's one thing I would say people.